Commissioner Dr. Pratik Srivastava, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 6 in Mechanical Branch in ESC 2021. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Pratik, I may know about your educational background and when did you pass out? Yeah, sir, I graduated from IIT ISM Dhanbad in 2017. After that, I was campus recruited to Coal India Limited. Then I switched to Indian Oil Corporation Limited. And after that, I secured an All India rank of seven in the previous attempt of ESC 2020, through which I was allotted Geological Survey of India. Oh, it's a great, uh, Srivastava, to hear about you. We have multiple success. Yeah, we come across that, you know, the success leads another success. That you include <laughs> yourself. So earlier sir. last year, right? Yes, sir. 2020, you got All India seventh rank. Yes, sir. So again, you took this year for better service. Yes, sir, for the better department. Better department. Uh, this year, you got uh, All India rank six. Mm -hmm. So which department you are likely to get? Any idea so far? Uh, sir, as per the preferences, I feel my first preference was uh, CPWD and the second preference was Center Water Commission. So I'm hoping that I'll be getting between two. So we also wish you that you should get a Pratik. You deserve it. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, once again, congratulate you. Uh, Pratik, please tell us uh, what type of coaching programs that we have availed from our AC Engineering Academy. Uh, so since I was working, so I was not able to attend the classroom programs. I was associated with the test series that the AC Engineering Academy provided. It was very helpful, in both the prelim preliminary and the mains. OK. So you are the yes uh, online test series student of both prelims as well as uh, mains. Yes, sir. Right, very good, uh, Srivastav. See this uh, online test series has got uh, many exam papers. If you see prelims yes. as well as uh, mains, so percentage wise, uh, how much uh, you have taken from these all the tests? So these tests really helps, especially in the mains. If you are looking for mains, because you know you get the the coaching institute provides you the solution that are very helpful and i would like to suggest to everyone that uh, you should always read the solutions regardless of whether you have attempted it correctly or not because it really helps you and uh, while talking about my performance in the test series i used to get a rank around like in between top five only <laughs> in every mains test series yeah sir so good in the mock test series used to be in the top five in the real yes, ESP sir. examination also nearly the same rank, right? All India sixth rank means, right? Yes, sir. Very good, Pratik. Pratik, because you have got uh, two times uh, single digit rank in ESC examination, many aspirants may be looking at you to hear about uh, your strategies, etc. Uh, Pratik, uh, can you please, uh, from your vast experience, right? Uh, can you please suggest uh, something some useful tips or strategies which are required to crack the ESC examination in general and mechanical engineering branch in particular. Can you please? Okay. Speaking of the general terms, uh, uh, I would like to say that uh, the preliminary examination, uh, you should focus on both the papers, like the non-tech part and the technical part. And uh, while preparing for the non-technical part, uh, you should have a strategy of first reading the reference book that is provided to you, whichever, regardless of whichever reference you are using, you should first do that. And after that, you should attempt as many tests as possible because in the non-technical portion, many students have this fear uh, in the examination because the questions that are coming uh, are very new. So as many tests you will give, you will gain the confidence. So I would like to suggest that uh, you should focus a little bit more on the first paper and uh, technical more or less every student focuses on because this is a technical examination and uh, you should be aiming to score at least 300 in the preliminary examination as compared to mechanical engineering because uh, below this uh, it you know it put added pressure to your performance in mains and uh, speaking about the mains examination you need to maintain proper settings of three hours because that is what is very important and much practice is needed because you have to attempt a large paper a huge paper within the stipulated time so you need to practice, practice as many questions as possible and give as many tests as possible because it would really help you. And uh, time management is the key and uh, it can be done quite easily because, you know, I was working and I was still preparing for this. So time can be managed, but uh, I would like to say that continuous, you know, giving the test, that's the key to getting good marks in the mains. 
very useful points, Mr. Pratik Srivastava, very useful points. Uh, Pratik, uh, actually, you worked for two public sector units, right? Yes, sir. So, having worked so long in those public sectors, uh, why you wanted to go for engineering services? Any specific reason? Sir, my reasons were uh, not that, matlab, it's completely based on person to person. My reason was that I needed uh, engineering services because it is the top exam that an engineer can qualify firstly. It gives you confidence. And moreover, the career progressions are good in engineering services. Regardless of any department, every department is good. It depends on the choice of working profile that a student or a candidate is looking for. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because uh, most of the aspirants, as said, most of the engineering students in India, they aspire to join engineering services because one of the best uh, service for the engineering. Uh, engineering, right? yeah. yeah. So you also wanted to pursue the same engineering services career, right? Yes. Actually, when did you get this idea of preparing for engineering services? Uh, so yeah, actually, you know, few of my friends were preparing it from the college itself. But uh, I decided that I, I would not do that because I was not that inclined towards engineering services in the beginning. But after joining the PSUs and working there, because I got the good opportunity through GATE as well. So I took the opportunity, I learned from it. And after that, I decided that you know, I should be giving engineering services because it would provide me better opportunities in the future. And it would be very good for my career growth as well. Yes, absolutely. I do agree, Sir Pratik. Uh, Pratik, when it comes to the prelims examination, uh, you have that uh, general studies part is there and then technical part also there. Yes, in the general studies mainly we have around uh, what you call 10 topics there, like current affairs, the ethics, mathematics, uh, like that, like that. Did you focus all, on all the 10 topics equally? Yes, sir. sir. Actually, this is a very good question because uh, in it can be divided into two parts. The, uh, the first paper, like there are some static portions as well and it, you know, people coming from mechanical and civil, they have a little edge because of the material science that is there and production technology is also there. So it's okay. And you should also prepare for non-technical, like the dynamic portion, but uh, a little focus must be done firstly on the static portion and then the dynamic. Like people used to do uh, complete dynamic studies, like uh, GK comes of 20 marks and people focus on the GK for 20 marks. They forget about the rest 20 marks, which is not good because eventually no one will score full marks. So I would like to say that focus on every su every subject equally. And because it's a paper in which every subject has a role of 20 marks. So try to focus more, a little bit more on the math mathematics portion and the aptitude portion and the static portion, because these are the scoring subjects and the dynamic subject, more or less everyone will perform the same. So I would just like to say that one should focus more on the static subjects first. So dynamic subject means uh, that dynamic areas means like uh, current affairs. Yes. Yes, current affairs, and environment, ICT. ICT. Uh, ICT. Yes, right. well, for those topics, right? So that is one of the good suggestion, Pati, from your side. Right. So when you are not able to focus equally in all areas, at least those areas which you are comfortable, so first mm -hmm. to focus on them. That right? and remaining topics instead of leaving completely, better focus at least some basic uh, points there. Yes, sir. Okay, so one more Pratik, uh, after completion of this uh, prelims examination, where you are preparing for the mains examination, as many people say that the mains examination means uh, the selection of questions and time management, the speed and accuracy, they are very important uh, vital factors there. So to achieve this, how you used to practice for the mains examination? So as I previously said, that test series really helps you. It helps to figure out uh, in which areas you are good so it, it helps uh, in selection of the questions like if you are comfortable with particular subjects then you can select those questions first you'll gain confidence in the exam and then you should focus on the subjects uh, in which you are not comfortable so i would like to say that uh, figure out the areas in which you are very comfortable and try to attempt first those questions and then the rest of the questions that is good and uh, when you see the mains examination paper one paper two you have to attempt uh, any five questions out of the eight questions given so how many questions yes. you attempted within that time? Uh, sir, I attempted five questions. Sir, actually, everyone that secures a rank, I think, attempts all the five questions, not completely. No one can attempt 300 out of 300 completely. But uh, you should try to achieve as close to 300 as possible. Like I I achieved around, uh, like it, last year, I got marks of around 425 in mains. And uh, I attempted the paper of around, uh, you can say, 530. Yeah. Right. This year, right? 
नहीं लास्ट ईयर सर दिस ईयर द मार्क्स आर नॉट येट आउट या दिस दिस ईयर मार्क्स आर येट टू बी अनाउंस्ड राइट यस सर सो आर यू होपिंग टू गेट समथिंग मोर देन दैट आर मोरल इज नियरली सर नियरली द सेम 425 फोर ट्वेंटी यस सर so you uh-huh. may get uh, right. okay uh, good uh, pratik good pratik and see uh, in your view uh, srivastava because you are two times highly successful with the single digit rank in the esc for a serious student uh, how many months of a serious preparation is required to crack this uh, esc examination so i would like to say that uh, if from the very beginning you should not focus on prelims only because you should focus on mains as well because after if you clear the preliminary you just get around 3 to 4 months for the mains so from the very beginning you should focus on mains as well and uh, i would like to say that 8 uh, to 9 months of preparation before the prelim serious preparation below before the prelims so would get you good marks would fetch you very good marks so 8 to 9 months before the prelims examination very for yes sir so i will preparing pre- for the prelims you have to also focus on some part of the mains examination Yes, sir. Because uh, eventually you will be getting around only four months for the for the mains examination, in which you have to attempt a test series as well. So you cannot de- develop concepts at that time, sir. You just need practice at that time. Yes, that's good, uh, Prati. Prati, particularly in this ESC mains examination, you have to answer in the QCA booklet format. Yes, sir. So, how you used to do this one? Because you had this uh, COVID uh, conditions. so from this online test series how you used to do this uh, practice on the qca booklet format so i would like to say to students that uh, qcab format is not that difficult they provide you enough space uh, for attempting the questions so i i used to take the print outs of the coaching you provide as the qcab so i would like to take the print out of those and attempt in those as well and uh, it's okay the space is not a constraint but yes accuracy is very important because there is a time constraint you cannot attempt a question twice like 20 marks question cannot be attempted twice in an examination right. yeah good right so that's why in our online test series also we provide one uh, what you call a blank uh, qc booklet format and we expect yes. students to download and practice on that and try the questions in the plus space given there to so yes, have a bit okay pratik in your preparation uh, did you refer to any standard test books Uh, Are you sir, only some coaching material? Sir, standard textbooks can be used. Uh, like uh, I would like to say that uh, whatever you have studied throughout your curriculum in the B Tech, you should focus on that. And uh, moreover, you can you can use the reference material. Like uh, questions can be used from test series as well. And previous year questions are mandatory, and because uh, these are the question that gives you the exact idea of what level the questions are being asked. so i would like to say that uh, regardless of the reference you use you should definitely do the previous year questions like two to three times okay good so previous year questions mean did you practice only that uh, this engineering research papers otherwise apart from engineering research papers did you also practice some of the previous civil service papers also so because i cleared the examination last year only so i had this free time a little bit of free time so i practiced the civil service question this year only but uh, i would like to say to the students that uh, first focus on the previous engineering services question and then if you get time then you should go for civil services question yes. that's also one of the good suggestion prati i thank you strongly, right support your orientation because students from the beginning from the first go onwards they try to do more and more paper without uh, developing the fundamentals yes so, sir keep point to spell point right a uh, good pratik uh, pratik did you prepare any long notes or short notes something like this for the preparation so it it depends from student to student i would like i used the strategy i used to mark in the books only in the reference book i used and uh, i would like to you know when whenever looking for the solution of a question from any test series if i made a mistake i would like to note it down and then before the exam i used to revise that that's the only strategy sir in note making i did okay let us say for prati one subject on an average at uh, what interval you used to revise mm, okay so uh, revision is also a very good part of the journey and uh, you should definitely focus like before switching to the next subject you should just quickly revise the previously subject that you have studied and like not you should not give more than 2 days for revision of a subject of a particular subject and you should definitely try to just refer the notes and the questions that you have solved 
you should refer that so it can be done quite easily and in a very small amount of time okay one more pratik in your uh, prelims examination a uh, technical paper uh, calculator is not allowed there but you do find some questions like a fluid mechanics etc which may require a uh, calculator also small small calculation will be there do you practice specifically for this type of questions yes sir uh, sir actually i developed a strategy for it like uh, if the calculation is very tough like to the power of 1 by 7 it was asked in 2019 and 20 as well so if that question sir uh, if we should leave firstly because it cannot be solved in the time so you should also focus on the questions that are a little bit less calculative and if the calculate if you have to calculate a particular thing then you should go for the nearness to the value like you should calculate very near to the value and then just took the shot <laughs> it's like that yes yes you do require some strategy for this right yes sir yeah right good so like uh, if you have 9.81 g value instead of 9.1 you can take round figure like a 10 more yeah, of your lengthy lengthy questions uh, which require more calculations etc better do it in the last stage right in the last stage yes in the last you need stage. to have some strategy the strategy you can develop automatically if you take some mock test seriously yes sir okay aprati coming to your interview experience uh, do you remember two three uh, interesting questions that you were asked in the interview sir i was asked from the service preference uh, that why did i fill the first preference and what was the reason behind me opting for that and since i was qualified the previous year itself so they asked me that why you are again here and what will happen if you get into this will you leave the first job or not so these were the questions that were asked from the chair person and uh, apart from that production was asked to me production is a very key subject for mechanical engineering because it is asked like the major part of the question is from production only and apart from that uh, a very interesting question that was asked to me in 2020 was that they asked me about the raman effect and uh, yeah they asked me about the raman effect and uh, it was completely unknown to me so i just said ki sir sorry sir i don't know but uh, some some there are there must be some questions you cannot answer all the questions it's better to say that if you don't know the answer it's better not to guess and say and that you don't know the answer it's okay they won't judge you on that okay approximately how much uh, percentage of questions you have answered in the interview uh this year i answered around sir uh, 75 to 80% of the questions i answered correctly okay. no even i too want to know that one what was your first preference of the department cpwd yes sir cpwd second one central water commission central water commission right okay good uh, uh srivastava after writing the mains examination and after giving the interview hmm. uh did you expect that uh, you would get uh, a rank something better than that previous rank so actually nothing can be expected it's a very dicey situation because the marks is not you know disclosed previous um, the earlier so it's okay the rank cannot be predicted but yeah i was hopeful that i'll be getting a decent rank this year right good uh, uh, very good uh, pratik we have shared very useful points i think uh, uh, most of the aspirants especially from mechanical engineering and esc aspirants of if they watch this video definitely they get uh, very useful information from this interview pratik by the way i may know about your parents what is your father what is your mother so my father is retired from life insurance corporation of india and my mother she is a professor okay, okay good uh, your parents must be very proud of you pratik you okay, convey sir. our best wishes also to your parents best definitely, sir. parents right <laughs> definitely sir yeah pratik are you going to stop with the engineering services otherwise any idea of going for further civil services uh, sir let's see sir i would definitely want to go for the civil services and uh, let's hope that uh, i qualify <laughs> yeah we should good luck uh, pratik in this regard right so thank i so much, again sir. congratulate you and thank, thank you for you so sharing much. your valuable information pratik right so thank you sir thank you thank you